Learning from media. Throughout this course, we will examine the use of digital media as a means of delivering instruction. We will look at methods for designing and blending text, graphics, video, audio, and animation in order to maximize their effectiveness in conveying our message. When we learn from media, what is really taking place? Essentially, we are taking the visual and auditory stimuli produced by the media, attempting to interpret the message they convey, and translating that message into new knowledge. Cognitive scientists have put extensive effort into studying this very thing. Their research has provided models of learning and memory that illustrate the processes taking place within the mind as information is received and processed to form new knowledge. Here you see a basic representation of the steps in this model. Our environments are filled with sensory stimuli in the form of all of the sights, sounds, smells, tastes, and textures we encounter. Those sensory stimuli that fall within range of our senses are said to be within our sensory register. Most of this information is irrelevant and never captures our notice. If information is to move from the sensory register into the working memory, it must capture our conscious attention. Information that an individual pays attention to advances to working memory, whereas information that is not attended to is lost from the memory system. The working memory is our short-term memory system. The word working is key because it is a very active, dynamic system. Consider an instance in which you were attempting to remember a phone number. As long as you keep this number active in your memory, repeating it to yourself in your mind, you can retain the information. If you are distracted in some way, this information will quickly decay and be lost. Through rehearsal, review, practice, and repetition, information is encoded into the long-term memory. At this point, the brain selects and organizes elements to produce a unified body of knowledge. Four factors of learning. In their research of the learning process, cognitive scientists have identified four basic factors that govern how information is passed through the senses and into memory. These are dual channels. Information is processed through two separate channels, each handling a specific type of information. Limited capacity. Working memory has a limit on how much information it can handle at a given time. Active processing. New information is actively evaluated and compared with previous information in order to determine how it relates with the existing body of knowledge. New information must be integrated into existing knowledge and experience so that it can be retrieved and applied in later performance. Incorporating these factors into the earlier model, we can see that learning is a much more complex and dynamic system than the earlier model might imply.